Hey guys, welcome back in this video. Just going over a quick example on how to add complex numbers. So if you have a third complex number, let's call it Z3, which is equal to Z1 plus Z2, um, all we do here is we just add the real components and we add the imaginary components uh, separate from each other. So we add the real components to each other. So we have 2 plus negative 3. And then we have the imaginary parts where we have 5i plus 4i. So z3 is equal to negative 1 plus 9i. And it's as simple as that. You just add up the real parts and you add up the imaginary parts. And that is complex number addition. Okay, let's do another example then. Let's say we have two complex numbers. We have 15 minus i. And we're going to subtract negative 3 plus 2i. So all we do is we just, um, again, we deal with the real parts first. So we have 15 minus negative 3, so plus 3. And then we have negative i um, minus 2i. And that all reduces down to just 18 minus 3i. Okay, let's do another couple examples here while I have your time. Let's do, let's say, 4 plus 4i plus negative 4 plus 2i. I'll do something like that. So we have 4 minus 4 plus 4i uh, plus 2i. So the real parts actually cancel out and we're left with a pure imaginary number that is just 6i. So that can happen. And then let's do another similar example where we have uh, 3 plus 2i um, plus 3 minus 2i. If you actually have uh, in a form like this where you have everything is the same but one is a plus and one is a minus, so uh, each of these is considered the other's conjugate. Uh, we'll get more into that in the multiplication and division of complex numbers, but it's good to know that that's, um, we're adding the conjugates here, basically. Uh, and the notation, actually, if we called this z, then this would be called the conjugate with z with a little bar over top of it. Or conversely, if we called this one z, then the other one would be called the conjugate. But when we add these up together, we're going to get 3 plus 3 plus 2i minus 2i and we're going to see that we're just left with 6, which is just a real number. All right, that's all I really have to say on the addition and subtraction of complex numbers. Join me in the next video, and we will go over how to multiply complex numbers.